But there's there's stuff. also a, right. a key like if, if if a fighter can take something on understanding coachability is like you have to have your reactions, but you also have to have your responses. Like reactive stuff is like like jabs. Positional stuff is reactive. Like you have to be able to react to positions first. I love uh, jujitsu because it's uh, it's position before submission. Mm -hmm. You have to react to, to positions before anything else. So there's reactive stuff, but the responses is why you have a co-pilot to help you see what you can't see and start noticing that. Or how are you playing defense and using a jab to find openings where you're still working, but you're thinking and going, oh, every time he does this, he's dropping his hand and you're able to see things. That's where you have to be responsive and you have to be aware in the moment where a lot of times people can't, they just bite down. They just bite down on that mouthpiece mm -hmm. and very similar to the way you used to fight was bite down, their eyes are getting big. Oh, that's my response is like, continue to do this and uh, they're yeah. gonna fall. And again, that is a very important point is a coach and the athlete understanding, I am there to help you with your responses. In the gym, I'm gonna create your reactions. I'm gonna create your patterns, your basic fundamental patterns that's gonna help you win positions and slightly win rounds where you're controlling the fight. The other pieces is how am I slowly creating momentum to get finishes?